Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm Jackson. I'm Shazia. Hey, Welcome. nice to meet Come you. On in. Thank you. Yeah. Jackson, hey, hey I'm Stuart. Stuart, good, good to, to meet, meet nice you, to man. Meet you. Hey. Well, tell me what's going on. We have two daughters. Bowie has been biting them, attacking them. When you say attacking, only because that word always triggers a lot of stuff. Attacking is drawing blood. I mean, so much as to draw actual blood, maybe half a dozen times, he'll attack them whilst they're asleep. He'll go into the room. If he sees toes or fingers or even a nose, he'll, he'll go in yeah. there, yeah. Listen, I've got a healthy amount of suspicion at this point in my career when people use the word attack so many times. Attack means play aggression. And randomly, it means there's a pattern that they just haven't discovered yet. There'll be certain times where he can be Wait, cuddly. what is that? Is that him? Yes. What, is he in a room? Let him out. Okay. Yeah, man. Bowie. What's life without a cat? Come say hi. Come on, Bowie. So we have a Devon Rex, yes? Yes. yes. Come here, please. Hi. Now, you know, one thing I'm noticing while I'm just trying to hang is that this kind of a toy he doesn't seem all that familiar with. We have so many toys. We've tried every toy. We bought the laser. He does not want to play with toys. Shazia and Stuart, these guys are just exhausted. Shazia just seems depressed, where Stuart seems a little over it, a little angry. It's kind of an uncomfortable situation for me, that's for sure. OK, let me. Um... Let me mess around just a little bit. Wow, you're like a solid rock of a cat, man. When he goes after somebody, any tip off at all? Every time the girls play with him. The only cat that I consider truly aggressive is the cat who has a disorder of some kind. What I'm hearing about Bowie is that he gets overly playful and he doesn't know how to control himself. That's a huge difference. So aggression and Bowie, pretty far apart. So where are we at right now? Let's say you couldn't get me here. What happens? Never mind months or weeks. I think it's probably a matter of days until we get rid of Bowie. That puts some pressure on. Stuart means business. I got a feeling one more scratch, Bowie's out of here. Now, I've been new to cats. I've never had one in the past. Shazia said multiple, but to me, it's kind of clear cut. So I've definitely heard a lot of information from Shazia and Stuart, but I really want to hear it from the girls themselves and see what they can offer. So apparently, your little cat brother is a bit of a problem, yeah? Yeah. Do you play with him? Do you guys use toys and play with him? Mm. Let me see what you can do with him. I'll Hello. just stand off to the side and kind of watch. Bowie, come on. Let's take a look. <laughs> Abina picks up Bowie, cradles him like a baby, marches him down the hallway, and gets scratched. That's not random. That's not crazy cat behavior. That is just teenage cat math. Do you have video of anything that I can see? Yeah. OK. All right, show me what you made of, buddy. Hi. Are you OK? He's so cute. You want to hug him and kiss him and snuggle him. But he bites us. Oh my gosh, Bowie, stop it. Aw. Bowie. Poor thing. You keep getting beat up. I mean, I feel like I've got a pretty good grip on what's going on here, and it's definitely not a holy terror named Bowie. I think he's just a really over-anxious teenager, and he needs to get some of his energy out. My gut is that we're not dealing with a crazy, unhinged cat. We're dealing with a kitten. What he's doing with the kids, those are his, uh, his yeah, siblings yeah. right now. He goes to them. Everything that I'm seeing is all play. Cats are energetic balloons. The energy that goes in them during the day has got to find a way out. I mean, not so much differently from kids. Energy in means energy has to come out. Really important that we start to establish what I call the three R's. We're going to have routines in his life. As routines are repeated every day, they become rituals. Rituals become the rhythm of his life. So it's routine, ritual, rhythm. Just like the kids, you wake up in the morning and you have routines. The same approach needs to go into Bowie. Play with Bowie is hands down the most important thing that you guys can do with him. He needs to be able to chase, he needs to be able to hunt and catch and kill, and then once he's done that, boom, feeding time. So the next great thing in terms of releasing his energy is catification, which is designing a little bit more places where he can go up 
and watch the girls. So he's, he's not competing for floor space with them. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is he gets to see what's going on in the world from a safe distance. Shazia and Stuart have got to commit to the long haul here. Quick fixes are not going to happen with this kitten, and I don't know if they will. I'll see you in a few weeks' time, and um, call me if you need me. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Did I introduce you to the concept of boil and simmer the last time I was here? So essential that when I leave this family, they know how to play with Bowie. If you leave Bowie hanging energetically without finishing the hunt, he's going to hunt somebody else. Boil and simmer is the technique that I use with cats. The play sessions are short spurts. This counts. Right, that's all play. He's, he's using every muscle to focus on that thing. So that's really using his energy. And then bang, he'll go after it. Let him stay down for 30 seconds. Then start again. Till the last time that he hits that down position, you will know. His breathing is heavy. He's like, uh, you've gone boil, simmer, boil, simmer. He's hunted, he's succeeded. He is now ready to go into grooming and sleeping. You can then take a walk. On cue, there's our boy Bowie. Perfect opportunity to have the family see him in this state. Drain out that energy and he is a normal cat. But now, they know the standards they gotta live up to when I leave. Such a good boy. When Jackson first arrived, Bowie was on his way out the door, but now we better understand him as our little boy cat. I think that's given us real empathy into why he's behaved in the ways that he has done in the past, and I'm certainly a lot more emotionally invested. All right, you guys got this. Bowie and you guys are gonna grow up and be very happy, I just know it. The great thing here is that we caught this just in time before Bowie got kicked out of this house, just in time before both Aurora and Athena became scared of cats for the rest of their lives. Man, now we have a foundation to build a friendship on. Thank you so much. Of course, Thanks, of course. Thank you. My pleasure, All guys. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. You know, before we embarked on this journey with Jackson, we weren't sure about the future of Bowie. We have learned so much, and he's not perfect, and I'm not going to expect perfection. I'm gonna let Bowie be Bowie and help Bowie be a kitten.